What's good everybody? It's your boy Zani the Greatest and welcome back to another YouTube video. Leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new and we're going to get right on into this. I have the best way to get Dragon Balls in Xenoverse 2 in 2023. That's right. It's not a new way. I just don't think everybody, everybody knows it and it's not, again, it's not the fast this way because you're going to be like, oh, what's faster than going to the Rail Quest? And I just feel like those are a little bit tedious. This one might be tedious too but hey i just figured out i don't know a lot of people don't know this so i'm just gonna try it out this is my in my opinion the better way to just casually do it maybe you're watching anime or maybe you're doing something and you just don't want to drill through the parallel quest you could just do this and basically what you have to do is you have to start out by going back to the main menu of the universe to create a new character this only works one time per created character so if you have all your slots filled yes unfortunately you would have to delete one and use that one slot now lucky for me i didn't know about this until a couple weeks ago so a lot of my slots already just went ahead and did what i needed to do to get those dragon balls you can only do this one time per created character which means you take one slot that's empty create a character once you get into that skip all the way through the first part where you have to talk to all those little uh Time patrollers around the um, Kantan city. Go to Tasak, level up your character with whatever Zen you have. So at least a level five or a level ten. Put those attribute points on. Put some skills on. Go talk to um, Elder Kai. Once you get to Elder Kai, you gotta go fight Raditz. After you fight Raditz, it should be a little easy. You should be level ten, five. Have some attribute points, whatever you want to put it in. I put mine in basic, basic attacks mostly. You're going to go to Raditz, defeat Raditz. After you defeat Raditz, you're going to go all the way to the Orange Star High School uh, where you get, you know, some of the uh, what you call advancement test missions. You're going to see a girl with a, it's going to be a blue exclamation point on the map. You're going to see that. Go to her. You're going to go to her. You're going to fight her. Once you're done fighting her, she will grant you a Dragon Ball for free. This is a guaranteed drop. Now, this is why I say it's the best way because this is a guaranteed drop. Every time you create a new character, you will get that Dragon Ball once you defeat Raditz. And once you do that, you can just kind of just back out, um, you know, of the created character once, you, once you've done it about seven times and go into uh, Shenron and with take your wish and wish whatever i think i wish for like the crystal battle suit i didn't i didn't get it yet so um that's really it that's literally all you have to do so basically a rundown is make a new created character defeat raditz once you defeat raditz go all the way to the um blue question mark or the blue exclamation point defeat that time patro patroller <coughs> get the dragon ball that's as simple as it gets. Now, again, it does take a little longer because you have to wait for those cutscenes or whatnot. But again, it's a lot more. It's guaranteed and it's a lot less tedious than doing a parallel quest. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. We're going to get into some more Xenoverse 2 Dragon Ball content, whatever you want to call it. The free update is dropping in two days. We're going to get it in. Let's do it. 